What is going on, guys? I'm your host, Francis Bo, and uh, we, yes, we got to talk about this um, unrelated comic book topic, but it's still something big because, you know, our movie stalkers part of the channel is all about movies, and um, this one is actually kind of big, and it just slipped by. This news is three, or, three years old. No, it's not. It's three days old, and we're just going to talk about it right now because I, I just feel the need I need to discuss it. So Daniel Craig is officially out as James Bond. He is no longer James Bond because he apparently rejected a hundred million dollar two movie deal. So um, yeah, we got to discuss this uh, for a second. So um, tomorrow guys, yes, I will be giving you uh, my Captain America video as I promised and as well as my X-Men Apocalypse Predictions video. So wait, just make those videos will be out for tomorrow. But um, let us talk about Daniel Craig not coming back as James Bond. Um, so I haven't, I'm not a huge fan of the James Bond franchise, so I can't really tell you uh, my input on how I feel about um, Daniel Craig as James Bond. I has I have seen him as James Bond though. You know, in the movies, he's a very very good James Bond. Um, I, uh, you know what? Sometimes uh, when actors reach a certain point of popularity and money making, they feel like they're not. Uh, they don't feel like they're needed for that part anymore, and they think they they can pursue bigger things. So this is. This is, this is kind of like Nicolas Cage and uh, that one guy from Alvin the Chipmunks. They think that they're so big, but now they just go get a paycheck. And um, this is kind of like Daniel Craig saying, "I'm look, I'm a little bit bigger now just to play James Bond. I can go do some other stuff besides this. That's basically what he's saying. But, um... Yeah, uh, Daniel Craig no longer is James Bond. James, he's played James Bond since 2005, and uh, yeah, very very interesting. I uh, um, I I didn't see Spectre, which came out last year. I plan I plan on seeing it eventually. Um, it was just one of those films where I'm just like, eh, pass on it. But um, yeah, uh. I don't know. I mean, it's uh, if they wanted, if he wanted to do it, if he if he didn't want to do it, then I guess the company made him do it because, according to other reports, uh, uh, he's been actually kind of talking smack about the James Bond franchise. So that's why they kicked him out. Or there's the other rumor, the other rumor that's going around that he just didn't want to play James Bond anymore, so he just rejected the deal entirely. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if it's if he rejected the deal, then he rejected the deal. If they kicked him out, they kicked him out. That's just how it goes. But um, that's not the other huge part about the story. The other huge part is who would be playing James Bond now? Because since Daniel Craig is officially out, um, who is going to be playing James Bond now? Now, there are two uh, runners for James Bond, and that is uh, Tom Hiddleston and Idris Elba. Um, for me, honestly, I would love to see Tom Hiddleston play James Bond. I think that Idris Elba can bring it as a performance, but I think Tom Hiddleston kind of has the uh, the mind for a James Bond character. I think that'd be very interesting if, if he did play James Bond. Um, if you guys are if you guys saw the trailers for Jason Bourne, I would love it if Matt Damon played uh, uh, played uh, uh, James Bond. I think that would have been so cool if he played James Bond. But, you know, he's playing Jason Bourne, but I think that he just... Matt Damon just fits for, for James Bond, but, you know, he's playing Jason Bourne now. But, yeah, Tom Hiddleston, I could definitely see playing as James Bond if he wants to. And if Idris Elba does it too, that's even better. I like Because he's a, he's a phenomenal actor, and I, I just love his performances all, but I want him to be Green Lantern. Everyone wants him to be Green Lantern. So... Um, that is basically it. I just wanted to give you guys my quick thoughts on the whole James Bond thing and how um, it affects me and how it affects the franchise. Honestly, it doesn't really affect the franchise at all because I mean, we've had 
the Switch before, and you know we're having the Switch again. I mean, it's kind of like the Spider-Man franchise. We've had the Switch once, we'll have the Switch again. So, yep. So that's basically it. Um, stay tuned for tomorrow. I'll be posting my uh, my a uh, little bit of uh, uh, you know uh, another Civil War video that I promised, and then we'll be getting into my X Men Apocalypse predictions video. And who knows, maybe there might be another reaction video tomorrow too. So. Uh, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to check out my second channel, Roll Out Nation. I post uh, videos uh, on the weekends as well. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, during these videos, bow out. See you next time. Peace.